<laughs> well, it holds a baby. <laughs> hey guys, we are standing here in our kitchen and as you can see, we opted to nix the upper cabinets and instead we're going to be making some DIY floating shelves. Yeah, the reason we opted for shelves as opposed to cabinets is that the kitchen's pretty small, but it does act as an extension of the living space. So we want to keep it open and breezy, accentuate the tall ceilings. So let's show you how we're going to do it. shelves to appear two inches thick but to purchase a two inch thick slab of wood is very costly so the way we're gonna get around that is we're gonna build a ladder frame out of two by twos that'll support the structure and then we'll skin that frame with finished grade plywood so it'll end up looking really nice and attractive To attach them to the walls, we're going to mark everywhere there's a stud, and then we'll use screws into the studs, and we will use anchors any place in between the studs where we might need some extra support. Framework. We got everything mounted to the wall. It's nice and secure. We hit a bunch of studs, so we're really happy with how it turned out. We are going to be tiling around the shelves, so we're going to stop on the shelves now, and then we're going to come back and face the shelves with some finished grade plywood. Tiling is complete. The next step is to skin our shelves with furniture grade plywood. Any imperfections in the lumber or the mounting process will be utilizing shims to counteract that, so make sure you check your level both top and bottom. Once that is complete, we will skin the fronts with select pine and we'll be all set. We shimmed up and skinned. Have a piece of select pine that's going to get cut to finish off the front. 